Hi, I'm Valerie Bradford and I'm the Member of Parliament for Kitchener South Hespler and I'm a member of the Liberals so I'm part of government. Running for political office is something that I had always wanted to do, but I was a single mother and I raised three kids on my own from the ages of three, six and seven. So clearly there wasn't time uh, to devote to any political aspirations. Uh, I was working full time, taking courses part time, running the kids around to their activities. Like a lot of people juggling a lot of balls. So I had to put that on the back burner until uh, later in life. Actually, it's, it's been uh, an awesome experience to be one of 338 people that get to sit in the House of Commons at any one time. And so sometimes you feel a bit of imposter sy uh, syndrome when you first get in there. I have to say the second you're in it fe feels more natural. And um, so I think the proudest accomplishment was being able to convince people, uh, enough people, to elect me that I had something to offer as their representative. What motivates me to go to work every day is make, having the opportunity to make a change to improve the lives of Canadians, because that's really what it's all about. And we have the opportunity in our legislative capacity to make policy changes that could have a lasting impact on Canadians' lives. Well, actually, what was surprising to me was how you have totally no control over your schedule at all. Whether you're in the riding or whether you're here on the hill, uh, you start your day thinking, well, the calendar looks pretty full. That's what my day is going to look like. And at the end of the day, there's probably been three or four other things squeezed in there. And you're just going from one thing to another to another, switching gears. So I had really no idea of the pace that there is involved in being an MP. I would say our committee work. Um, that's where the real work of Parliament is done, is in committees. We do the work there, and then reports get tabled in the House of Commons and acted on. There's recommendations made. So generally speaking, you know, we hear witnesses and we come up with a report. And usually, uh, it's a unanimous report. Sometimes there's a dissenting. Uh, maybe the opposition will make a dissenting report because they don't agree with maybe all of the recommendations. But I would say that's where we work together. I would say the biggest challenges to democracy today is society has gotten extremely divisive, and I attribute that a lot to social media. People can say things in social media that they would never say to somebody's face. And also, a lot of people, unfortunately, are getting their information or their news from social media, and that's not necessarily accurate. And it depends on what social media channels you're following, what your view of the world is. So I think that's unfortunate, and uh, I think it's made society very divisive, and then politics gets very divisive, and that's not constructive. What gives me hope for the next generation? I'm very optimistic. I, I had the opportunity to visit a lot of school classes from like grade five to grade 10, grade 12. And it's one of the favorite parts of my job. And my, my role for going to speak to classrooms is to get students at every age engaged in the political process and to realize how important it is because that's where you make a difference. And it's important that your voices be heard. I'm in the process of um, establishing a youth advisory council because I want to know what the next generation thinks. When we make policy decisions in the House of Commons, it might affect me for 10 or 20 years and people of my generation. For the younger generation coming up, it's going to impact their lives for 40 or 50 years. So we need to hear what they say and, and what they're thinking. And I must say, youth today are very engaged. They're obviously concerned about climate change and the environment. I think they're very responsible. Um, I, when I leave the class, there's a lot of enthusiasm. And uh, so that gives me hope.
If I was going to give a piece of advice to my 16-year-old self, it would be work hard and stay the course. Of course, first of all, you have to figure out what that course is, and the course changes throughout life. But I think nothing um, out, you know, is more important than working hard, because if you work hard, you can accomplish almost anything. And certainly in many races or endeavors, it's whoever works the hardest wins the race. And so don't be outworked. Just keep on the course, steady as she goes, and never lose your focus.